welcome to my channel. If you've not ever been here before or ever seen one of my videos before, my name is Kristen Leanne. I am a cruelty-free YouTuber. So this video, as you probably gathered from the title, is pretty straightforward. Um, I went online and I purchased a bunch of products that just happened to actually be under $10. So I think I was like skipping around to people's videos and like seeing like what brands were inexpensive and cruelty free that I've never tried before because I really wanted to start using some new brands in my tutorials, show you guys some new brands. I feel like it's kind of like been pretty homogenous on my channel recently. Like I've been using a lot of the same products that I'm used to, that I love, that I get in PR packages. And so I wanted to kind of like push the boundaries and get some new stuff for you guys to just kind of see how it applies. And for myself too, just to see what other products that I like that were affordable that I could, you know, use in videos and suggest to you guys because I know not everyone wants to spend, you know, like $60 on a freaking foundation. So, um, so yeah, I, I purchased a bunch of these products. We'll go through them. There are some products I don't actually use in the video, but I did show you because I was excited to show you guys because I really like them, but heck, you can only put so many colors and whatnot on your face. Before we get started, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. It's totally free. And you can also hit that little bell icon next to the subscribe button that will turn on notifications for my channel. So whenever I upload a video or go live on here, which I like to do a lot, you guys will get notified immediately on your phone. So you can head over here first, leave your comments first so we can chat in the comments. I always love chatting with, um, I love chatting with all of you guys in the comments, but I, I'm always on there right when the video goes live chatting with everybody. So head on there. And then also if you really enjoy like behind the scenes sort of videos and clips and whatnot, definitely um, add me on Instagram. Instagram stories are updated almost every hour, probably a little too much, and also on Snapchat. So uh, I'll quit babbling. Let's go ahead and get started with this makeup look with all products under $10. First, we're gonna color correct. This is, if you saw my color correcting video, which is linked in the description box. If you need that, you know who you are. <laughs> um, so I'll leave that in the description box. But uh, this is the Wet n Wild Cover All Correcting Palette. We're gonna go in with the yellow one to cancel out some of the little bluish tones around my eyes that I don't love. And I didn't prime my face because I didn't feel like it. So if you do have like oilier skin, then that's a step you're not going to want to skip. So some of the products here I have like doubles of. So I'm gonna do like, for instance, I have two different concealers here. So I'm gonna do like one on this side, one on this side, and we'll see how they work out. This is exciting to try all these new products that are like super affordable. I have two concealers here. I'm gonna go in, let's just do this one first. This is the Styly Style Cool and Covered Aloe Concealer Stick in Ivory. I don't know if you can see, but the coverage of this is kind of disappointing so far. So I would say if you need only a light coverage, then this might be for you. Yeah, I don't know, um, not too much going on there. I mean, it did a light coverage, but for $6.49, I would expect it to cover a little better. The other concealer is actually $5, so let's see which one wins. But before we go any further, I'm gonna use this Essence Pretty fine, pretty fine, is that a word? Um, lip oil, uh, it says it's light feeling and this is supposed to moisturize your lips. It's kind of like, it's not like, it's not like a, smells really good. It's like a lip gloss kinda, but not sticky. You know, it's not like oily either where it's just gonna disappear off your lips in a second. This lip oil is like only $2.99. It has jojoba oil in it too. So this should be good for chap lips like mine. Look away while I set my eye area with something that isn't under $10 because I am too lazy to go find something. If it's not in my reach right now, I don't know. Okay, let's cover that up. So we have two eyeshadows today. So this neon eyeshadow palette, oh, oh hi, plastic piece. Um, this was $10 exactly, so we barely made it with this one. I checked the pigment the other day just with my finger when I opened it, and it looked pretty good, uh, but we really need to just put it to the test here. We will do a little lime green and some oranges, and then there is one other eyeshadow that I got in here, and we'll do it like on the lower lash line or something. So they have not even named these colors individually. They just like gave no fucks. They were just like, whatever, here it is. They're all neons. So we're gonna go in with the pinkish, kind of shaded one from the palette. 
Ooh, see, I, 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 that's impressive, that pigmentation. Like, and it's not, there's no like kickback or anything really either. Pretty good, anyone can nail like a nude pink though. That's not, that's not what's gonna be impressive. I mean, it is impressive still, cause $10 for this many shades is pretty sweet. Let's see, you get one, two, three, four. You get 12 in here, so that's pretty good. Um, I really am interested in seeing the orange, the pinkish purple, and the neon green. I'm gonna take the orange in here, and also put that into the crease area. I don't even know what I'm doing with this eye look. I'm just like grabbing colors and like playing. So bear with me. Not bad. I mean, not like the most amazing payoff I've ever seen, but you know, pretty good. Like I would use it again. Also, I feel like shades that aren't too pigmented are good for people who are practicing eye looks because it's easier to blend out typically you know, it's harder to make like a mistake that's like super obvious. I'm gonna take this pink higher. Now that I'm thinking about it, I should have probably brought, bought some brushes from uh, these. I wasn't actually planning on making a video on this, to be honest with you. And I was like, you know, that's a pretty good idea because I bet everything that I just bought is under $10. All right, not bad. We're gonna go in with a purpley, purplish purple color from here now. This one looks like it's gonna be nice and rich. Oh, sad day. What? That's some bullshit. All right, let me get some more on there and see what happens. All right, let's put a, you know what sometimes helps with eyeshadow that's like not the best? Is if you put, where are you? This is NYX's Proof It Waterproof Primer. I'm not a primer, I'm not a, a fan of putting primer in my crease at all, but if you put it right on the lid, it will help the color just pick up like beautifully, if the color's not complete shit, that is. I'm gonna stop that right there because I would like to do the lime green in there. Yeah, that really helps. What you can also do if you don't have a primer is pick up the color on your brush and then mist it with some setting spray or rose water or even just water. All right, don't let me down. Oh, that is pretty good. All right, so the foundation that I got is Style, Styly Style Beautifully Balanced Hypoallergenic Foundation, and I took a stab and grabbed, what is this? What, it, what are you? Cool Beige. So just by looking at it, it looks like it might actually work, uh, but it was purchased online, so you can never be too sure with, with that, so. Don't be too harsh if it doesn't match. We'll both, uh, we'll find out real quick. It's got a little pump like that. I like that, I'm into it. All right, any day now. Oh, we have life. Oh, oh shit, just throw it, why don't you? <laughs> Alrighty, let's just, just, just do this. Smells like skincare, I like it. None of these products really come in an outer box, which is kind of interesting. I guess that's how, you know, they save some money. We didn't do bad on the color though. That's pretty good. The coverage isn't like full coverage, like amazing, but pretty good. And I can tell just based off of looking at this that you could definitely layer this if you wanted a more full coverage. It's not like, it's gonna be a nice matte finish, I think too. To be honest with you, I didn't really read about this foundation at all. I was just like, that looks cool. Give it to me. It's pretty much how I live my life. A lot of wasted money that way. Pretty good. I'm, I'm impressed. Like, it's not, it's not too full coverage. It's not too light. Some days I might need a couple extra layers depending on what my skin looks like. Yeah, so far. I mean, obviously you gotta see how foundation wears, but. You guys can see it's like sitting on my face nicely, you know? It's not too like, it's not like settling into my pores weird or anything. High five. Okay, so the foundation or the concealer that we're gonna use underneath, this is the LA Girl Pro Concealer HD High Definition Concealer. This shade is in porcelain. I'm gonna use this to be highlighting. Comes in this like little guy and it's got like a little brush. You guys remember those old lip glosses that you guys used to buy at Target and I used to buy at Target? That's what this is, but it's like in a little push push thing. I'm gonna kind of try and, oh, there we go. Interesting applicator. I have never used a concealer like this. Can you tell what that is? It's a penis. Oh, whoa. 
Looks good on camera, it looks, yeah, okay. This is the real test to see how it blends out. I'm actually really digging this concealer. It blends out really nicely. It's not removing my foundation too much. Yes! Up close it looks really good too. This is way better than the one that was, oh shit. This is way better than the one that was 649. The setting powder that I wanted on the website, was, I think I was trying to get it on Essence. It was sold out. They had like a translucent setting powder that was like all white for under the eyes and like face and stuff. And I was like, that looks amazing. And it was sold out, it was 8.99. So you can check and see if that one is there, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use the NYX No Filter. I'm not sure if this is under $10, but I've gotta set my face. So, I apologize. Like this foundation is a very matte, and, and the concealer too, very like matte though. So it's like, I don't really even need to set it. Like with my face, I sometimes don't even set my foundation because I don't really need it. All right, let's return to the eye area. This item that I received was completely broken. So, I mean, it looks amazingly gorgeous, but it's super broken. So this is the Styly Style Pigment in Liquid Gold, and this should look like a solid eyeshadow in there, but it's actually quite broken up. I have already emailed them actually to tell them, please send me a replacement, man down. All right, so wow. So this is super broken in there, but this is what it looks like. I was just thinking like, I don't know, it doesn't really go with this eye look, but just for the sake of trying out this product as well. I was just gonna put it on my lower lash line. This concealer under my eyes, like hardly creasing at all. It's really pretty awesome. It's really metallic-y and really nice. Like, really like that. Actually, I want some more colors of that. That didn't even, that wasn't even over like primer or like misting the brush wet. The next thing I'm gonna talk about, I'm actually not going to use because I cheated and I already tried it because I had to. I just loved it. This is the LA Girl Line Art Matte Eyeliner. This is $9 and it's got a felt tip. So it kind of looks like that. And I loved this product, okay? Loved it. I had one issue with it. I couldn't get the product out of it. I kept like, you know, going like this and like hitting it on my, uh, my palette and I just couldn't get it out fast enough. So as I was like, you know, I could draw like a great line when this, when it, when I first started, but then as I was trying to go and color it in, like no more product was coming out. So if this was in like a click pen or like a pen for, I don't know, so maybe I got a defective one, but I absolutely loved this. I love the formula. I just don't like the applicator necessarily. I'm never really a fan of felt tip. I wish it was just bristles or something. Now I have two eyeliners from Essence and I'm gonna use the bright blue turquoise one that I have, but we'll talk about the other one as well. This is the Essence Gel Eye Pencil and it is waterproof. It's called Around Midnight. And it also says on the cap contains carmine so that you know that it is not vegan. So this eyeliner, just take a guess at how much you think this might be. This is only $2.99. That's pretty sweet. So this one, I'll just swatch it too so you can see. So that's what it looks like. It's pretty, it's very pretty. But I just wanna show that to you guys because I really love the price on that. The one I am gonna be using though is actually even less expensive than that one and is the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in T -t Turquoise. Ooh, I like that name, that's sassy. <laughs> this is really cool. So this one is only $2.49 and it's supposedly long lasting. Gonna put this in the water line, see how we do. Totally doesn't match the gold. Oh well, we're gonna get over it. First impression, it's fine. It's like better than nothing, but the pigmentation is not impressive. It leaves something be to be desired, but it, it you know, it's, it's better than nothing. If you're on a budget and you know, 249 sounds good, grab it, but not like amazing. You can actually use an eyeshadow base too. That might be good. It's okay. I don't think I'd grab for it again. I have better ones. Let's put on some mascara. So this is from Essence as well. This is the Get Big Lashes Volume Boost Mascara. On their website, they had so many mascaras to choose from. It was hard. I was like, whoa, buddy. How could there be this many mascaras that do different things? Like, 
legit, is it the same formula that you put in all of them? Because I'm so confused right now. Like, how could there possibly be that many mascaras? Like, I get it, like seven maybe, but there was like, I wanna say like 15. So I grabbed this one and I grabbed this based off of what the brush looked like. Um, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> I can hardly remember actually purchasing this, but uh, the, the brush, I like big fluffy brushes like this. So let's, let's try this out. Not bad. Like, is it the most amazing mascara I've ever tried? No. Do I know if it comes off on my eyelids and underneath? No. But would I use it again? Yeah. You can build this one up too. Not bad. Next is time for some eyebrows. This is a Styly Style Brilliant Brows Gel Eye Pencil or Brow Pencil and Gel Duo. I had no idea there was another side of this. Um, this is in taupe and it's 849. It's kind of shaped like the Tarte one that I absolutely love. So I wanted to see how it stacked up. Let's check out the other side of this because I have no idea. Oh, cool. That's cool. Okay, so it has gel on the other side so you can like brush them, like make sure, like if you have longer hair, I, I don't have that problem, unfortunately. But if you have longer hair, you can brush those in place after you've done your brows and they will stay put. That's pretty, that's pretty special. So far so good. This is working pretty well. I'm trying to get used to like how large around this is. I'm not really used to that. The color's nice. The color's like spot on. If you usually do taupe, like this is gonna work for you. Yeah, okay, this is pretty sweet. $8.49. I also wanna show you guys this. I'm not gonna use it today, but it's Color Mascara by Styly Style. Looks like this. It's pretty cool. I don't know. I just like was curious if it would actually show up on your eyelashes because most color mascara doesn't and I just end up using it in Ryan's eyebrows instead, which is always great. You can even do some in your mustache, whatever you're feeling like. Next, we're going to contour. This is Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder and it looks like this. This is the lighter of two shades that they offer and it's $4.99. This one is in shade Natural. I love this, like $4.99 huge pan granted it's not very deep but definitely like enough product for yeah, i can see the whole pan not bad not like too pigmented but like enough pigmentation to like do the job without having to add a million layers but when it's too pigmented you're all and then it's hard to blend out that looks really nice really easy to blend out i thought february favorites was going to be like a hard video to film but just from this video alone, I've found some new favorites. I'm gonna contour my nose with this because I just wanna see if it's like a shade that will work well for that. Considering how well this blended out on my cheeks, I think it'll be perfect. Very nice. Really like this. Let's do some highlighter. Okay, so I just got this. This is the new spring collection. Um, this one was sent to me. I did not buy this myself. This is... Uh, from Wet n Wild. Let's see if I can get into it. These things are always like nail and idiot proof. So this is their Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. And this one is in the Sweetest Bling. And this is the limited edition. Oh, stay open. So cute. I'm just gonna like do the whole, the whole thing. Oh, that's pretty. I thought it was gonna be like super pink looking, but it's just got a, like a hint of it where you could wear it with a pink look or kind of more of a you know tanned kind of look i like that i usually put more highlighter on my forehead but right there i've got some like pimples so i'm not trying to draw more attention to their bumpiness dig this very cool that's really pretty love it for blush i um, I did buy this myself, actually. It was just a really long time ago. Um, this is their Wet n Wild Color Icon uh, Blush in Mellow Wine. It looks like this. This one's a little dark, but um, we're just gonna lightly put it on. I'll show you how you can put on, you know, dark blush and uh, make it not look so dark for your pale face. So, ooh. <laughs> There's so much kickback with this blush. It's just so, it's like very pigmented. So get it on your brush dab it off on a rag, then go in and start over here. I love Wet n Wild blush. It is so pigmented, so inexpensive. You can get it at Target. This is like 
honestly my favorite blush other than Urban Decay's and Tarte's. Oh my gosh, we're almost done. I'm not gonna put fake eyelashes on today because I don't really feel like it. So we've got two lipsticks and this one I'm gonna swatch for you. I swatched it when I got it in the mail and if you follow me on Snapchat, then you saw the snap where I was like, where is it? <laughs> so I swatched this on my hand and I couldn't find it on my, I was like, where? It's like so sheer. So this is a LA Girl Matte Flat Velvet Lipstick. And the ironic part is on their website, it says that it's rich in pigmentation. And I'm like, bitch, where? Where? Cause no, it fucking isn't. Okay, so unless I got like a shitty one, but like, I don't know, how could that even happen? I mean, it's all made in one batch and then poured in a little thing, and you know, that's just how it is. So, so this was $5 and let's just, I mean, if this is like chapstick, fine. If they had said it was sheer, that'd be totally fine too. But they said it was rich in pigment and it's supposed to be a lipstick. Like this is not a lip, okay. So let's just, here we go. Oh my gosh, like where, okay, let's put it on my lips. Let's give it a, let's give it a fair chance to like not look like a pile of poop. What is that? Okay, my lips are really dry, so this is clean to all the dry skin on my lips, which is like pretty typical, whatever. It's just a problem I always have to face for the rest of my life. But um, this is not pigmented at all. I will say that I do like this like as, a colored lip gloss, sheer lipstick. Like this feels good on my lips. I like the color. I kind of like that it's actually sheer, like, but you've got to advertise this as like a lip balm or something or a sheer lip cover. Cause I like that. I like Ryan's actually going to really, I'm probably gonna give this to Ryan. He's going to love this, but this, if, if I bought this and I was looking for like a full coverage, like a lipstick, I would be returning this. I did buy it for lipstick. Maybe I would return it, but Ryan will like this. So yeah, no, this is not good. Not good. So this is the Essence Lip Liner. And this is a dollar ninety-nine. And this one is number 11. It's in the nude. This is perfect for like any nude or pink lip. I love this lip liner. And I love lip liners that are like this where you can um, uh, sharpen them like so. I, I don't like retractable ones. They get too flat and weird. I fucking hate them. So let's just go in with this. I know I love this one. I've used it tons of times. It's $1.99, like, and they have so many colors. Like, how could you? I mean, when there's lip liner out there that works this well for $1.99, you really don't need to go anywhere else to get it. Like, why spend $16 or whatever? Unless you want an exact matching shade. So there's the lip liner, love the shade. And then this is also from Essence. This is in Porcelain Doll. It's just like a really nice, nice nude. Two. 99. Please blow me away right now because that price tag is awesome. So there's this one is the Essence one that I just did and I just put it on. It's really shiny. I didn't realize it was going to be that shiny. Not uh, overly excited about the shininess of it. The pigment is better than the last one, but and like good enough, like I would wear this. I would wear this, but like just bring it with you because you're gonna have to touch it up for sure. But like I was I was expecting to be a little more impressed with this one. I don't really like how shiny it is. It says long lasting lipstick. There's no way this is long lasting if it's this shiny. It just isn't happening. I like this made in Italy, that's pretty sweet. So overall, pretty impressified with a lot of the things that I tried today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed being able to see it in action and I still lo am love, I'm still loving like the foundation. I really like the concealer. The eyeshadow, awesome. The brows, awesome. Lip liner, awesome. Blush, highlight, like that highlight is just so pretty. So pretty. So hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, enjoyed the video. Let me know what your favorite favorite products were that I tried today. Have you ever tried them? Are you going to try them? Let me know what you guys think. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on notifications before you take off. And thanks for being here. We will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.